Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deanna and you're watching Orchid D. These are some orchids that I got in my last unboxing video from Windermere Orchids. I got quite a lot of orchids in one day, so I've separated the unboxing into two videos. So this video is the MS Orchids unboxing, but I had to film a new intro because I've decided to split the video up. I am hearing frequently that you guys are also buying lots of orchids during this time, um, and I would love to see the orchids that you guys have purchased and the blooms that you guys have right now so if you aren't on YouTube then please like get on Instagram and get your photos up I'm on Instagram my handle is orky underscore D uh, pretty simple follow me and leave a comment I will follow you back and hopefully we can all spread a little bit of joy and our orchid photos on social media somehow I'd actually encourage you to watch the other video first if you haven't watched it already at the end of the video if you want to skip to it I will put a timestamp in the description but I do go through I guess what I am doing currently when I'm receiving my packages from anywhere but otherwise let the unboxing begin so yes I have two boxes from MS orchids so let's just go through one box at a time and see what trouble I've gotten myself into So this little one is Cloacetum Penang Waltz. I did a little bit of an update on my Catacetums and I had a lot of trouble with the smaller, younger ones. So I do prefer to get more mature Catacetums, but I've been wanting the Penang Waltz for quite some time. It's finished growing for the season, it'll get repot for spring and I'll just have to see how I go with it. You have to kind of give these things a go. So hopefully I'll have a little bit more luck with the younger Catacetums next season. We've got Foul Purple Martin Tzu Chang here. I have been searching for the Purple Martin for a little while now and I was happy to find it from MS Orchids. There's a few floating around on eBay but they just look like really young, recently deflasked plants and I just wanted to wait to find one that was a little bit further along. So it's still small, it is very well established I can see um, and it's growing really well. So I think it's uh, previously a DTPS but purple martin su cheng uh, so after this one i might just show you the plants instead of you having to watch me unwrap each and every one because there's quite a few look at this this is falchileriana pink butterfly this foliage was just irresistible so I did actually see these plants um, at the Queensland International Orchid Fair and I didn't buy anything at the time mainly because my hands were very full with bigger flowering plants but I decided to get one this time. I do actually have Shaleriana seedlings already but this foliage is a little bit different to those others so I'm thinking that the flowers will also have some variation between the plants as well. It's just one of the most beautiful patterns of modeling on a Phalaenopsis I've seen. Here we've got another young Phalaenopsis. This is Fal Ox Surf Song. And really, like, I just wanted that purple martin, but MS had three fowls for 25 bucks. So, yeah, I had to pick a couple more Phalaenopsis to fill my order. This one's still a little bit young. Pretty sure it's meant to be um, a pretty big leafed fowl when it's mature. So we've got another fowl here, fowl ox red sesame. Again, pretty sure a young plant, but looking very healthy. I'll have to repot these ones because I can't keep my fowls the same way as they do up in their nursery at MNS. So these guys all come quite tightly packed in sphagnum, um, but they obviously have high humidity in their greenhouse. I certainly can't keep my plants this way. They will rot very quickly, so um, I'll have to repot these ones in the next few days. All right, guys, don't judge me. I've got Fal Mituo Sun Queen and Fal Mituo 
king number one? There is some variety on Google on the appearance of the flowers, particularly the Matuo king. I see some of them are spotted and some of them are pure red colour. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I think that's all my fowls, but I probably shouldn't speak too soon. Oh my gosh, I started opening this up, but I had to bring it out for you guys. And do it properly because oh my goodness look at this some of the flowers have gotten damaged um, that's to be expected so they may not last very long if they've been damaged look at this isn't she just wonderful so this is what happened. I put in an order and Max and Sue said we've got some pictures of some of our catacetums in bloom. Would you be interested? And yeah, clearly I was interested. Isn't that beautiful? So this is um, sick noches maybe? Dark swan, bold spots, cross with Richard Brandon, very wide something I can't quite see. We might as well just enjoy these on camera as much as possible because I don't think they're going to last very long now that they've been through transport. There's you know a little bit of damage obviously because they are quite fragile in the first place. I really 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 love this bloom. Can't smell any fragrance on it but there we have it. Sycnoches, dark swan, bold spots, cross with Richard Brandon. And the very last one in this box, you guys, you won't believe it. It's Sick Notice Wine Delight. And we have a bloom spike. You guys might know that I had a very small wine delight. Sadly, it passed away over summer. So <laughs> I've now got a mature Sick Notice Wine Delight. I'm just over the moon. This orchid was on my wish list for so, so long. And I was so happy to get a little seedling of it. Pretty sad when it got overtaken by mealybugs um, over summer. Hopefully these guys haven't been damaged by the transport too much and they'll still bloom for me. So here we've got box number two. I did get some cat layers and I did get some cat layer seedlings even though I said I didn't want to get any more seedlings. Uh, what can I say? I got a little bit carried away. RTH Gerardo Nanda Vadana. Hmm. I can't actually remember ordering this one, so I'll have to look up what the flowers look like. But very, very healthy looking specimen as always. And I'm not sure if you can see, but this one has a new little growth developing down the bottom there. This is RTH Miki Fireball. And you know what? I have a feeling that the last one and this one um, are actually bonus orchids. Oh, I don't remember ordering them. Um, it is possible it was quite late at night, so I might have ordered them. But it was quite a big order, so these might have just been added in as um, some seedlings. I don't know if you guys can see in there, there's just green root tips crawling all over the place. So yes, that is RTH Mickey Fireball and I'll be trying to find pictures of these orchids as I go along so hopefully I can find them and put them up in the corner. Next up we've got RTH Young Min Orange Gold Baby. These guys are just all so healthy. You see another little growth developing there. So yep, yeah, nice. So next one definitely ordered this one because I couldn't resist the flowers. I will put them up on the screen. LCNSA Big China. Still a young plant but the new growths um, are looking to be a good size. Both of these are new growths coming off. Next one we've got is SLC Sunspot Sandy cross with SLC Catherine Clarkson. So I believe this one should be a spotted cat layer and you can see some nice new roots coming out and also can you see a new growth developing there. So in my opinion this is a really opportune time for cat layer repotting. So sorry guys if the lighting's gone a bit funny, but the crow lights back there have turned off and it's dark now. The next one is Epicat Layer Volcano Trick Orange Fire. And this one's actually approaching flowering size, I'm thinking. So we've got a sheath there. 
and a new growth developing down in there. Next up, we've got RLC Wainai Leopard. This orchid has also been on my wish list for a really long time, and I once found it on eBay. I think I paid something silly like $25, and all I got was like a plant with a couple of leaves. It was pretty much like a freshly deflasked seedling, and yeah, it didn't last too long. It died pretty quickly in my care, but this is a very, very well established seedling, and I'm pretty sure it was only $12.50 so that is a really good buy as far as I'm concerned again beautiful new roots coming out there and a really nice progression of growth and we just have a couple more to go so second last one guys it's very very likely that I will have to separate this up into two videos this one is RLC Amazing Thailand Rainbow. It again is a very nicely established seedling. Um, I want to show you guys something. These are the same plants. So this is also an RLC Amazing Thailand Rainbow. I kind of just wanted to take a gamble and see what I would get for my money. So this is $12.50 and this was $10. I got it from Sunny View Orchids. I've never ordered from them before. Um, I got a few plants, a couple of seedlings. I just like to sometimes order from nurseries that I haven't before. So, you know, it's healthy. It's just a very small plant and that was $10 compared to, you can see the size difference there and the progression that this one has made already for another $2.50 essentially. So um, I clearly really, really like these flowers as well because I was willing to buy two of the same plant. And everyone, my camera is about to run out of battery, so hopefully this all fits in. My last plant is another catacetum type, and it's in spike. This one is Cycnoches jumbocoma, crossed with Cycnoches bartholium yellow form. I'm pretty sure this would be its first flowering. It's not a huge plant yet, but obviously has gotten to flowering size. So yeah, guys, I might have had a little bit of a bad spell with my catacetums over summer this year, but they are definitely a genus that I love and I really, really want to get um, more experience and better at growing them. So yep, I have some more now. All right, so here are all the orchids that I got from m and Orchids. Wow. Did I go slightly overboard? Maybe. Well, I have no regrets about this haul. I really regret any orchid hauls, to be honest, but I definitely don't regret any of the hauls I've ever had from m and Orchids. So let's have a little close up before we go. But I just want to get as much of these blooms in footage as I can because I don't think they're going to last a huge amount of time and they are just absolutely stunning. And we've got a couple more catacetum buds and spikes. Hopefully they develop okay. And some beautiful little fowls and cat layer seedlings. Oh my god, they just all look so beautiful and healthy so if you guys are in Australia please check out Max and Sue on Facebook they are contactable through Facebook through messenger or via email and all of that I will put in the description down below I can thoroughly recommend the health of their orchids I've always received very healthy well-established plants from them so if you enjoyed this unboxing please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more orchid videos if you guys have a great week and happy growing until I see you next time. Bye!